guys, we are in TJ's 33 today. Cruising. Cruising, trying to uh, work on the tune because TJ's probably going to go <laughs> race this thing Hopefully. on Friday. <laughs> You'll see that. We'll see if we can't splatter a rod all over the track. <laughs> it's like if we do, it'll just be built. Yeah, and then, uh, so we tuned it last night on a lot of full throttle shit because we want to go fast and then tell him what happened, Kev, this morning. Oh yeah, so he goes to drive it again this morning and it basically did not want to start or run. Or idle. Or idle, so we're going to have to work on the... Um, we didn't do any corrections. This thing is running no coolant temp corrections, no <laughs> IAT. It's because it was rushed, so don't hate massively. It's like we actually did it backwards. Usually they do all that first. All that first. <laughs> but I mean, hey, at least we got. Uh, we got the vitals down. Yeah. Most of it. But now we're about to make a Red Bull trip. Yeah, make a Red Bull trip and then tune this bad boy. I think TJ's gonna go ahead and get the weight skate spring set up. I'll do a little thing on the computer, do a little edit, and then. is putting another wastegate spring on the car right now. Currently about to make big boost spring. <laughs> big boost burn finger. Anything because I was like it's actually turned out pretty good for us. Yeah. After a lot of work. The hot a terrible idea. <laughs> it's bad. Look in this shop. Did you get it? Yeah. Come on. Jim like if anybody needs a AN um you know yeah V bands we got it. We got it. Ah. Holy fucking a. So for anybody that has a uh, Turbo Smart Hypergate or Raceport wastegate, this is how you change your spring out. Yeah, you change it. Separate. Yeah, I remember that's how it did Lance's. Yeah, because you can get this. You can get this entire thing separate. There you go. Look at that with a little blunt force trauma. Right. Don't watch this video, Turbo Smart. Yeah. This is just to show how awesome their products are. Dude, their products are great. <laughs> yeah, I really do like Turbo Smart. Gonna pop open. Launch off in my face. Yeah. be in the big lane so I want to stop recording for a minute because we're here about to do some uh, like bigger pulls now yeah and so we do not want to be recording and uh, not being paying attention to the fuel map so yeah we're gonna do that and then hopefully after that we'll go ahead and record some some pulls, some pulls. so we'll see y'all in a minute quick update TJ's working on the throttle position uh, I think the throttle cable may need a little tweaking is what he's doing on it right now um, we are still working on the fuel map uh, we've got it up to about 14 pounds um, as you can see we have a pretty linear um, increase here on our fuel only thing that we're really doing is going back through and making sure that um, we're not leaning it out too much I and mean, we're not on a dyno so we want to make sure that um, while we're doing these pulls on the road that we have a conservative fuel um, as far as not running it too lean so we're making little adjustments here um, as we get to like 10 12 pounds um, and then we're good to go so I think we're ready to go we're gonna try round two I think it's that throttle screw for sure you think so <laughs> This thing rips now, like no lie. Well 
guys we were able to get everything sorted out we got the two-step working everything seems to pin out good we didn't have any issues as far as the engine um, the tune went well also well we are back in the Supra ready to head home it's like 1130 TJ is leaving too and uh, we had a good day got a lot of tuning done 